almost fully charged it. All right, so it is later in the day. My baby is here now. Hi, hello. Hello, hello. And uh, she's gotten her cell phone a couple green sunfish already. I managed to actually catch that small mouth again so I could take some pictures and then I put them back again. Uh, this has been an amazing day. I wish I had something like this back in North Carolina. But right now, uh, I noticed that the fish were biting, trying to bite at my bobber earlier. So I thought for once in my entire fishing career, it might actually be time to throw this stupid rebel cricket. And let me tell you, I don't think it's so stupid anymore. This clear water with uh, them hitting things on the top, this is like the ideal place to throw it in. And these nasty little hooks that have punctured my thumb and gotten caught on a million articles of clothing of mine are about to do their job if I open my bail when I cast. Hello, beautiful. Uh huh. And show them, uh, show them what you're catching it on too. That crappy bug jig. It's for crappy, I mean. Yeah, it's, it's it came in a crappy yeah. tackle kit. It ain't so crappy today. Nope. Catch me fish. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Who would have thought that uh, the clear water would be such a different experience? But do you, know, do you notice how when you look at the green sunfish through the water uh, like this here, it looks like they have a blue tail? Yep. Now, that, it doesn't look like that when you pull them out of the water, but it does under the water. That's why I couldn't ever identify the fish I was seeing because I was, you know, typing in um, descriptions of a fish with a blue tail and a black spot. Right. Yeah. You know, after I started becoming an angler, I thought for sure, you know, well, I'm going to come and I'm discover it's, it, whoa, that was a nice bite. Too bad I didn't hook him. I just look at the, I, I don't even know if the camera is going to pick it up, but just look at the size of the school that I've corralled here just by throwing this thing and uh -huh. making it move on the top of the water here. Oh, now it's in a, now it's in a bush. I'll we'll have a realistic fishing moment here. Yeah, so as far as species uh, assessment goes, basically I've caught every species that this place has to offer so far, except for the carp. But from what I can gather, we have, you got one? That looks decent. Yes, yeah, so, so from what I can gather, we have, what do you got? That's a little smally, isn't it? Well, looks like you wound up catching one after all. <laughs> hey, buddy. Amazing. I thought he was putting up a hell of a little fight. I love these fish. Yeah, let's turn them uh, turn them toward the sunlight a little bit here. Look how beautiful he is. Yeah, let's uh, let me get that over your shoulder here. God, they are just gorgeous. I love how bronzy they are like that. I love it too. Great job. Thank you. Yeah, you get a smallie fish. too. I love it. If I there was it. ever any doubt, now you know. <laughs> you caught smallies. Well, I definitely did. I mean, you know, I knew. Yeah, I'm sure. How do you like the, uh, the stinking uh, graffiti here? There used to be some, some much cooler graffiti here, actually. Now, that skull over there, that's pretty neat. Yeah. But uh, somewhere on my laptop or an old phone or something like that, I had a picture of a really cool face that somebody drew in the middle. It was like a, I don't know, not like a joker face, but sort of like a deck of cards joker face. But you know how you like this? You're living in the South and you haven't seen, you know, a whole lot of stuff like this. Uh -huh. But you come up to Maryland, well, yeah. You see this racist crap. Nazi symbol over there. Oh. Racial slur over there. Come on now. Yeah, you know? I, I love how that Nazi symbol is, is completely incorrect, yeah, too. Completely. Like they couldn't even draw it right. Right. But that's <laughs> how it always is. Yeah. You know? You're doing the dumbass. Oh, you know what? Oh, great. I didn't even realize that said that. I'm going to have to blur that out. Yep. Yep. Wonderful. That's going to be a lot of work I don't feel like doing. <laughs> I'm going to have to put our the Fish Dimension logo over top of it. Yep. It's just amazing. Come on. Yeah. 
come to the most beautiful places and you see the most horrible things. Well, I love how brave they are, do, uh, too, doing it where, uh, you know, where no black people are even going to see it or see I'm them doing glad. it. I'm glad nobody's going to see it. You know. Oh, yeah, I'm glad they won't see it and stuff, but, uh, you know, they, they wouldn't go into West Baltimore and try that crap, oh, would no, they? they sure would. <laughs> Yeah, there'd, uh, there'd be an issue. Yeah. Alright, this ought to help me get this cricket further out. Yeah. Oh, got one. Boy, that was quick. What do we got? What do we got? This feels like you got off. That was a green sunfish anyway. I've caught enough of them today. Oh, here we go. Got one. Oh man, I just can't tell you how happy I am with this day. That's a red breast. Another red breast sunfish. I love showing these guys off. Think what? It sure is, and I definitely have. All right, look at that beautiful fish. Not as, uh, not as red in the fins as one would have liked, but still a, still a gorgeous little guy. All right, come here. These guys sort of like shudder when you wrap your hand around them. Now he got himself with all three hooks. There we go. All right, there's a nice little red breast going back in. All right, babe, so what'd you just catch? I caught a uh, red breast sunfish. All right, so you got green sunfish, red breast, and smallmouth small today. Mouth. Same as me. Yeah. All right, awesome. looking good. Look at this pretty fish. Beautiful. Pretty fish. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to even catch one because we hadn't even seen him here, but uh, looks like my little stream also has the good old classic bluegill. There he is. I was wondering, I knew they had to have them. All right, back you go. Try to get the upper hand on those green sunfish. All right, babe, what did you just catch? I think it's a white perch. Yeah. I was casting over there by where the water comes, meets the, you know, where the waterfall comes down. And uh, it hit it as soon as it hit the water. I didn't expect to see them in here. I did not expect that at all. Wow. Well, this is uh, turning out to be a very diverse little stream. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. It's got a little bit of everything in it. Yeah. Largemouth, smallmouth, perch, green yeah. sunfish, bluegills. Yeah, red breast. Beautiful look. Carp. Yeah, carp. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah, look at this. All right, great job, Thank babe. Thank you. It's pretty awesome. Nice find. Definitely. All right, the multi species continues, and we got ourselves another bluegill. Nice, pretty one. Just thought I'd add him to the video because uh, he's a much nicer, bigger specimen. Another species uh, caught on a worm here near the, uh, the spilling water. We have a pumpkin seed. It's getting more and more diverse by the second here. Uh, I just caught my first uh, large mouth of the trip. And I uh, just wanted to show them off to you because they are beautifully colored uh, little guys here. And uh, you know, yesterday I got on, a, got on that small mouth, which was my major goal for the whole trip. And today my goal was to catch one of these largies I kept seeing. And here he is looking absolutely gorgeous. I had to check to make sure he wasn't a spotted bass and I, I think he's definitely uh, a largie. There he goes, he's fine. How do you feel? Feeling good. This is better than I ever could have imagined. <laughs> right, awesome. Good job. Can't believe I could have been having so much fun here all my, all my whole life. All right. I know we've uh, inconvenienced the hell out of this fish, but here's the same smallie I caught twice yesterday, and I, taught, uh, I told Gail what to do because she decided she wanted to catch under her belt, too. Nice fish. Uh-huh. Nice fight, huh? Nice fight. All right. So First one I've caught since I was about 16 years old. Have you, have you uh, ever caught one bigger than that? No, that's the biggest one I've caught. Well, it's a pound five. That's your PB smallmouth. Nice. I'm going to put him back in now. All right. You got to release on him. Real gentle-like. There we go. 
There he goes, right back. Did he go right back to his spot? Okay, yeah, he's heading yep, right there. He's heading right back for it. All right. I promise I won't inconvenience you again. Yeah, we won't be doing that again, buddy. I just wanted to catch him. I hadn't caught one since I was. You did kid, great. So. You did exactly perfect. All right. Awesome. That was yep. a great catch. A uh, bit better specimen of a largie here. This is the largest largemouth I've seen swimming around in this nice little clear water pool up here. So I just wanted to get him on camera, uh, show you real quick. Nearly a foot, uh, no, maybe half a pound. All right. There he goes, like a bat out of fish hell. All right. And here's the biggest bluegill we've caught here today, splashing around, not letting me get a good shot of him. There we go. Come on, cut it out. That's the king bluegill of these waters. So it just caught me a largemouth bass. A very small one, but my first out of this little creek. <laughs> Been a great day. Yeah, get a good look at him. Let's uh, do the test here. Yeah, that's a largey. <laughs> <laughs> He's a pretty fish. Great job, babe. Yeah, you can see largemouth uh -huh. bass. Yep. Definitely large mouth. And I'm gonna put him back in the water now. Okay, there he Off he goes. Another nice pumpkin seed, also worth adding because he's a much nicer, bigger, brighter one. Great, great fun. Yeah.